Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video with the Mass Dent Regional Library. I'm Miss Stephanie, one of the children's librarians here, and today you may notice that there's something a little different about me. Maybe it's a new shirt that I'm wearing under my lab coat. Maybe I did something with my hair. Or just maybe I made a cool pair of 3D glasses and I'm going to show you guys how you can do it too. And as you can see, these have both a red and a blue lens in them and I will show you how to make them and this is going to deal with an optical illusion and an optical illusion is where something it tricks your brain into seeing something that's not quite there like what we're going to do is we're going to draw something on a piece of paper and then when we put our glasses on it's actually going to pop up like it's like a three-dimensional thing not just flat on the paper and to make the glasses and to do the 3d art I you just need a few things um, I'm going to start by saying you're going to need red and blue cellophane and this is Probably something you don't have lying around your house. I will, you'll have to get your adult to help you find this. Um, you can get it at Walmart or Dollar Tree, like where they have like the gift bags and the wrapping stuff because people use silicone to wrap gifts and other things. And if you can't find it there, I would check Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And the other thing you need to make the actual glasses, you're going to need a pattern. I found one online and I am going to provide a website where you can get even more glasses after this part of the video but if you want to draw your own that's fine too i just recommend that i made my glasses out of cardstock which is a little thicker so they stay on my face better but if you want even sturdier ones you could use like a piece a thin piece of cardboard like you maybe find on your cereal a cereal box so get the glasses template or something you can use to draw your glasses on then you're going to need some white paper to do the drawings. Um, don't do any other color paper. You can just use printer paper or any white construction paper because this will really help the designs pop out. To make the glasses, you're also going to need some scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, and you're going to need red and blue markers. And I have some right here. And you might want to try like different ones. Like I have the thick tips and the fine tips. I brought some Sharpies in here too. And if you want to experiment a little, which I'm going to do, you can get red and blue crowns or a red and blue color pencil. And also you can get other colors to decorate your 3D glasses like I did. And also you will need a pencil, especially if you're going to be drawing your glasses on the cardstock or the cardboard. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make your 3D glasses. The first thing you're gonna do is you can either print this template off. I had the website in the slide before this part of the video, or you can draw your own glasses. Just make sure that you have holes big enough for your eyes to show through and little things right here so they can put on your ears. So let's cut this out really quick. And while I'm doing that, I just wanted to say, like, you may be wondering, how do 3D glasses work? Well, they work because they're tricking your brain. And when you look at something with both of your eyes, the information that your eyes are giving you will be sent to your brain and it will show your you the image however if you close one of your eyes and look at something it's going to look slightly different because your eyes are on different parts of your head and what that is doing is it different perspective and because you're going to have one red and one blue lens for these eyes that will trick your eyes into seeing the blue and red drawings in 3d so i'm just not i'm not gonna cut this out too good just enough so you can see how to make the glasses and we'll cut these out. Here's one. And here's other. Because that's kind of what they do for making, if you've ever seen 3D films, that's kind of what they're doing is they're like, have the special glasses and are tricking your brain to see something that if you weren't doing it, it'd just be flat on the screen. But because the lenses are special and like help your your eyes see things a little differently. It tricks your brain into seeing the images in 3D. So we're almost done. Just gotta finish cutting out the main part of the glasses. And you can decorate this with crowns and markers too, just like I did with mine, as you saw at the beginning of the video. So there we go. So the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna poke out these two. I like to use a pencil. So we're gonna just poke a hole in each one. There we go. And then we'll use our scissors again to cut those out. So let's cut these out real quick. And 
just to make sure it's just big enough that you can see. Some of the designs I had on that website, that I saw on that website, they were a little skinnier, but they were still big enough for your eyes to poke through. And let's see, I got one more. We're almost done. And there you, we go. Now, the next step we're gonna do is we're going to glue the red and blue cellophane. You do not need a lot of each piece. As you can see, this is a little big, so I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. Just about that's pretty good. And it's better to have more than less when you're starting out. Like, as you can see, I put more red cellophane than blue. They're both staying on very well, but this is, you put more glue around and it'll be more likely to stay on better. So then you're gonna get your glue stick. You're going to smear it around one of the edges, and it doesn't matter which one, as long as you have one red or one blue, like the blue could be here or the blue could be here. And as long as there's red on the other one, that's all that matters. So put the red cellophane on. Then I just like to use my finger to smooth it out to make sure it's sticking. And let's get our blue cellophane. Make this a little smaller as well. All right. And then we'll take the glue stick again, glue this on, and stick it on, and then do the pin. Do your use your finger. Your finger works very well to smooth it out. And then we're gonna cut the extra cellophane off, so you can't see it. You can just see the lenses with your glasses. So I'm trimming this right now, as you can see. And cellophane can rip a little, it takes, doesn't take too much to rip it. So just be a little careful when you are cutting and you're pasting your lenses. It's okay if like this part right here tears because you're not gonna be able to see it. But if there's any like white light or anything that like there's a rip in the cellophane, like the 3D effect is not gonna work very well. So let me finish trimming. I got a little more to do. Get this edge right here. Trim that out, and then I'm gonna get the top of this one. Okay, there we go. And then the next step is we're gonna glue these handles on. And so, let's see, this one goes here. So just put a little glue. Stick this on. I'm having a hard time getting it off the table. Stick this one on and you're gonna bend it up like this so it can fit it on your ear. And then we're gonna do the other one the same way. Put it down, press it down and then bend this part up so you, it has a pair of glasses. And I let these dry not for very long, maybe about five minutes or so. So we'll put those aside and let me move this stuff out of the way. And I'm gonna show you how to make the drawing. So let's get our paper out. And then something that we're gonna do is we're gonna need the red and blue marker. So I'm gonna get my red and blue marker. Now we are gonna have to draw the blue first. And it's, I'm not quite sure why they told me to do that, but it doesn't quite work as well if you don't do the blue first. So I'm just gonna draw a heart right here in the blue. And then I'm gonna take my red marker and I'm gonna do an outline of it. And now if you want to experiment, you can just do it one more time. So let's do it again. Put a blue. And then do a red. All right. And then once you've done that, now this is going to be a tricky part because you're going to, I can see this when I look through my 3D glasses and I see it's three dimensional, but because the camera doesn't quite work the same way as our eyes, it's gonna be hard for you to see this in 3D. And what you're gonna to have to do is this is gonna be, I can tell you how to do it, but you're gonna, if you wanna see it, you're gonna actually have to do this experiment yourself. And once you have that, you just put your 3D glasses on and look at it and it, oh, cool, it pops up. For me, when I put it on my eyes, you can't see my eyes, but when I did it, you can actually see the image pop up. But with you with the camera, you were probably not gonna do it. But if you pause this video and you look at it with your 3D glasses, you're probably gonna see this pop up as well. And this is a, t you may think this is pretty straightforward, but you can do some experiments with this as well. Like I use a thick marker. 
You can also use a thin marker to see if it works better, if the image pops out better. You can use a different type of marker like Sharpies. You could draw in like color pencil, just do the same thing as you did before. So I'm, very, I'm not a very good drawler, but you just giving you the idea. Your pictures are probably gonna look a lot better than mine. And you can try crowns. Oops, I didn't do the blue first, so let's do that over here. Here's my blue, and then here's my red. And this is kind of neat, because how about you put, I'm gonna put on my 3D glasses on right now, and you're not gonna be able to see them on the screen, but I'm gonna see which one for me pops out the most. And, oh goodness, I think that all of them are, I can see all three of them in 3D, but I think the markers did the best of popping it out, but you can just do some experiments and see what works best for you. And that's how you do, can make 3D glasses and do an optical illusion. Well, I hope that you really enjoyed making your 3D glasses and that you have a lot of fun just experimenting with different types of materials like markers and crowns and color pencils to see what kind of cool 3D drawings you can get when you wear your glasses. Now, I have a few books that I found on optical illusions and just 3D stuff in general. The first is a series called The Magic Eye. And what this is, this is a different type of optical illusion because it's like tricking our brain. And with the glasses, we're tricking our brain with using the colors. But for these, you have to kind of focus your eyes in a different way than you normally do. Because you look at these pages and they just kind of look like random colors, nothing special. We've kind of got to cross your eyes and look at them. And it takes a lot of practice. It took me a few times. And then suddenly you'll see this like 3D image pop up. And they're a lot of fun because there's like many books in this series. There's actually some themed ones as, as well as like I found a Harry Potter one too. And they're just, it'll, like I said, it'll take a little practice for you to like make your eyes focus and like kind of cross it like kind of a little what I'm doing now. But once you do it, you'll get to you'll get the reward of some really cool pictures. And I also found another book. It's called High Tech Do-It-Yourself Projects with 3D Printing. And 3D printers, um, I thought I'd choose this because we were doing three-dimensional things. It's like, you know how when we type something on a computer and we print it off, it's just like on the flat sheet of paper. Well, when you do a 3D printer, it actually makes it an object that you can hold in your hand. And there are so many, this book tells you so many ways that scientists and other people use 3D printers just to make like parts to machines that are hard to make and just like little toys. And these 3D printers can be found in a lot of different places. I know the Children's Museum in downtown Harrisonburg has them and maybe your school has one as well. And if you do know somewhere to find it, they have a lot of cool projects that you can use. Like they give you the website and then you can just download whatever file you need to. And this one, you can make a jumping frog. And then the other project that I really liked was that you can make your own keychain. And it just like walks you through how you do it. it it's pretty straightforward. I like it because it's not very long and it just gives you a good like sense of what 3D printers are and what all the amazing things we can do with them. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this month's science video. I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Have a good day. Bye.